Hi Pisces, welcome to your general love read. This is for April 27th through May 3rd. It is just a general, so it will not resonate with everyone. If it does, there is a link below to the extended where I clarify a little bit more into what your person is going through, what they're thinking. Um, this is fluid. So if you do pop onto it in July and it resonates then, that's when it was meant to be seen. Um, at the end of next week, I will look back at the videos from this week and I will take the one that has had the most loving contributions and I will release that extended as a free bonus. So please like, share, comment. Also subscribe if you want to know if that gets released or not. Um, I just released my May forecasts as well, so you might want to check that out. This morning I did channel two messages. The first one was 88, eight, the angel number 88. So if that resonates with you, go ahead and check it out. Um, the second thing I channeled was the song, the disco song from Saturday Night Fever. Um, I put that on the Facebook page, so if you want to go look at that at Mindset Unicorn and see if it resonates, there you go. Right now we're looking at getting to that first 100 with this new channel, and so if you dare to help, like if it, you know, resonates with you, clarifies some of the brain fog listening to this, and you say, oh, I want to do this, I want to contribute, please do. I'm going to uh, do a few bonuses when we get to that 100. So I'm gonna do something different um, today. I'm gonna start this with a card of intention. And then we'll start with the reading and I'll let you know about that in just a minute. So what is going on in the possibilities of love for Did I say Pisces? I'll have to go back and check that. Because this is for Pisces. I was up all night. I could not sleep. I do not know what was going on. Um, energetic shifting. Bringing energies forward. Combining hearts, I don't know. Who knows? Something was going on. So tell me what's going on and possibilities of love for Pisces. Overall energy, five of pentacles. I feel like this is a running, like, reading for Pisces. Um, I feel like this comes up a lot for you. It's this fear of the unknown, right? Past energy, ace of pentacles. So you have started to create something. Current energy is the emperor. So this is somebody restricting, like very passionate, but restricting, not sharing, not coming forward. And then the moon is future energy. So wishing something into fruition, a little deceptive, um, and we get this intention card of the mind. And so looking at it, there's all of these like sparks, these implants that are being unscrewed from your brain. Like there's this whole transformation going on within you at a cellular and energetic level and you are slowly untwisting these beliefs from these different points on your head. Um, I would dare say that many of you could use a um, access bars session, right? Because that's energetic work just on the head or a um, distance Reiki session, um, which I do do. Um, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of shock within you coming out of this um, to get over this fear of the unknown. Like you're working on it. 
So let's clarify this Five of Pentacles. You carry a lot of responsibility in your life. And so there's a fear that anything that you do and any changes that happen impact those that you are a caregiver for. And you carry a lot of judgment about that. There's a lot of judgment about how you feel about taking care of yourself, doing anything for your betterment. And with this Knight of Pentacles energy, there's this energy of um, just kind of playing it safe, playing along with the energy, not really putting your emotions out there to be who you are meant to be. Tell me about this past Ace of Pentacles energy. Whatever you're creating has this Nine of Cups, this wish fulfilled energy in it, making you very happy. However, you're having to wait on it. It's taking a long time to get there and you feel like it's making you have to have this inner strength that um, you don't like the feeling of that, right? Of having to be, because of this whole Ten of Wands energy, like. You're tired of this having to be inner strength and strong for everything and everyone. Tell me about this current energy of the Emperor. So there is this energy of holding back all of the passions and the joy that you are creating as you're moving into this unknown energy, right? Look at this same colors, right? Look at that energy. You're moving into this unknown. You're holding back how joyous it makes you. However, the chariot is taking you energetically, almost like through a time tunnel. Like you can't stop now. It's moving you forward whether you like it or not. Um, it may not all be happy because you can see that this person is almost overshooting the sun and they're not in control. The universe is in control. But there's this three of pentacles energy. So there's this complete synergy of energy that is fueling this, moving it forward. With the eight of cups, again, there's that sitting on the edge thinking that you're going to be in control of what cup you're going to choose in this unknown arena. And the universe is like, no, you're not choosing a cup. You've called a cup forward and we're bringing it to you. You're clearing out your mind. That's what you're doing. We're doing the rest. So tell me about this energy of the moon. So there's this wish and moving forward, this King of Cups energy. So this could be a new love coming forward to you. And with the Eight of Wands in this future energy, sending you communication that lets you know what it is that's actually their intentions. With the Five of Cups, though there is a hold back there is a pull back and i feel like it's because of this ten of wands energy and this judgment energy like you and the fear of the unknown right so it's almost like you're afraid to be happy and what that will create and that's why you're having to do all of this work right now to remove all of these beliefs you're clearing beliefs um, that's one thing i do with my energy awakening program on patreon is there is an energy clearing um, aspect of it 
where you have this loop for clearing the leaves every month. Um, so that might be something that you would want to check out. Um, I do have a combo program where you get for $8.88 a month, you get the Energy Awakening and the Extendeds. So that might be something you're interested in. So tell me about Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you play it safe because you have a hard time listening to your higher self. You get into the 3D mentality of, um, I feel like poverty mindsets and lack, and then you have a hard time listening to your higher self that says that there is more out there. Again, right? Working on this mind. Seven of Cups though, you're looking at things, trying to sort through them differently as you start working through all of these unwindings, right? And as the Queen of Swords, you're moving yourself into this energy of taking your cup, getting on your little raft, and going wherever the universe is leading you, but you're being a little stubborn about it. You're like, I know what I want. And the universe is like, no, you don't. <laughs> Tell me about the judgment in the overall energy. King of Cups, you want this King of Cups love. You're asking for it, which is why it's going to show up in the future. You are asking for it as the Page of Cups. You are just starting to pull it from the fifth dimension, right? Um, and it will be very new to you when it starts feeling, when you start feeling that heart chakra energy, um, you're going to be like, what is this, right? And you're probably going to have a good six months of feeling this and feeling your own personal transformation before you actually realize what has come into your view. But with the five of cups here, again, there's this sort of conflict of being not deserving of love, not being lovable, having guilt about it. And you know, dumping out opportunities because you're not worth it. But you're starting to learn and you're keeping this one cup here. And I feel like as you go through this transformation and you remove these beliefs, you clear these beliefs, you're going to start seeing that you are lovable, right? So because what you started here in the past, Ace of Pentacles has started this energy with this wish fulfilled. So tell me what this wish fulfilled is. There's too many that up. Oh, I'm going to take those since they didn't pop forward. Yeah, so five of wands. So I feel like part of your wish fulfill, what you wish for is taking every thing that you've thought about love, abundance, joy, and just burning that shit to the ground and moving forward. Like you almost feel like you can't have what you desire and you have to just be done with that. You have to rid yourself of all of that kind of belief. So as you start doing that, as you start removing these clearings, you're going to start being more nurturing to you. You're going to, with this five or this four of swords, you're going to Start taking care of you, waiting for things to happen as you're healing yourself, as you're calling this Two of Cups energy forward. Tell me about the current energy of the chariot. <laughs> the chariot clarified by the chariot. <laughs> so yeah. You started a process and you are not in control. The universe is in control and it's going to start moving things forward for you in a rapid progression. Page of Pentacles. You're going to feel like sometimes like you've only got one foot on the, on the ground because 
there's going to be these like ebbs and flows of energy coming in where you will have this moment of clarity and then it's so new it will go away as you start working to clear another belief right your focus though however you're holding on to this ace of pentacles so it's telling me that you've got to remember that everything that you are doing right now is not taking away from your stability but it's creating a new for your stability for the lovers what you desire with this king of cups twice in this reading and the two of cups you desire this passionate connection deep loving twin soul passion and it is moving forward it is coming towards you tell me about king of cups in the future energy yeah when this king of cups finally comes forward it is going to create a tower i feel like it could be the sort of twin flame sort of thing where you are suddenly the last of those um, deep childhood wounds are brought up to the surface to be cleared for others of you um, it could be walking away from whatever you are invested in now to be with this king of cups energy to be with this love that you desire and you see all of that transformation but it's not a scary thing because there's all it's being you're being given you're being supported right ace of wands means that intuitively you're going to know what it is there is this sadness right a little bit of sadness of leaving behind whatever like dream you put together that you thought was going to be what your future would be right um but believe me it will make up for it with the ace of eight of pentacles it could be somebody coming in from work it could be someone that comes forward when you start working on your passion right you are so passionate about something and as you move into that that could come forward so i'm going to pull a couple of cards from the universe then i'm going to pull an oracle card so seven of swords you're done fighting and that's why all of this clearing is starting to happen because you're ready to move into the sun you're ready to move into happiness and i want you to know it's not all easy but it is all worth it to clear and remove those past beliefs because you have opened your heart chakra to this desire for this nine of cups for this desire for exactly what your wish fulfilled is three of cups you've brought in the energy of the universe you've brought in your guides your angels your ancestors and said bring me this three of cups bring me this love and that's what they're doing right here for Pisces focus on the light so don't focus on the fear don't focus on the fear look towards the light look towards the joy look towards the visualization of what it is that you desire and I mean, I almost feel like those are like Reiki hands. Um, if you practice Reiki, do self Reiki on yourself, right? Um, help move that energy along. If you don't come to someone like myself, that's a master and get a distance session from time to time to help keep that flow going, but focus on the light. 
I mean, this is a 37, which is a 10, which is an end of the cycle, right? End of the cycle, you're finishing a cycle through this work that you're doing, and it's going to take you into a space that you probably can't even imagine. So on the extended, I'm going to pull in this energy that's coming towards you and clarify it more. So I will see you there. Bye, Pisces.